What's up guys, it's me Alan, and I am back with another video today, and I've got another NASCAR diecast for you to do today. And before I get into it, I will say this again, as I said with the Bubba Wallace Black Lives Matter car, and the Joe Nemechek Trump Pence car, no, I'm not here to talk politics with this diecast, I'm just here to review a diecast. That's all I'm here for. No politics. Okay. Um, so you can probably already guess which diecast I'm going to review. Obviously, this is a recent release in the Gold Series. Uh, this is the second Mike Harmon Racing diecast to ever get released, which already gives it away, but whatever. And for the driver, this is his. This is the first time we've ever gotten a this guy released in the Gold Series or in you know a diecast at all. And this is Kyle Weatherman's 2020 Back to the Blue uh, Chevy Camaro for Mike Harmon Racing in the Xfinity Series. Again, not here to get political, but that that aside. Just by looking at the car in the box already, I would say that they did a, Lionel did a really good job with this car. And the crazy thing is, this is, again, this is the second Mike Harmon Racing diecast we've gotten already. And we've got a third one on the way, if it gets made, and that is Kyle Weatherman's uh, patriotic, or not patriotic, Darlington throwback car. Um, if that one does get made, I have it on pre-order. Um, so, yeah, that's... It's pretty crazy because we don't normally see like politics or political sponsors in NASCAR nowadays. And yet we got the Go Fast Racing car with Trump Pence, or we got the Trump Pence Nemechek car, obviously. We got the Trump number 32 Go Fast Racing car. I would say Corey LaJoy, but like with the die cast that's being, that got offered, uh, you know, he asked to not have his name on it, which. I might have talked about that in a in a past video, but if you don't know the story there, uh, basically when that uh, sponsorship got announced, LaJoy got a lot of backlash, and it's like fans completely forgot that uh, LaJoy has nothing to do with uh, the sponsorship. He just drives the car, and he actually put that in his bio at one point, and then ended up going private and barely posted for like the longest time because of the backlash, which he obviously did not deserve. Um, it, it pissed me off to see fans cheering the, when the the thirty the Trump car when that was ran got wrecked uh, because it's like what the fuck like you like you could obviously say oh I'm not cheering for LaJoy to get wrecked I'm you know I, I just don't like the pain escapes out but still you don't cheer for someone to get wrecked you just don't but uh, obviously that one that diecast has also been offered I believe I pre-ordered it. So when that shows up, if it gets made, I will be reviewing that as well. Um, but again, not here to talk politics whatsoever. Everybody has their opinion about Trump. I'm not here to talk about that right now. I'm here to talk about a diecast. And with that, we'll go ahead and get the diecast out of the box and get on a review before we go any further off the rails. But uh, yeah. But again, it's regardless of what's on the car, it still boggles my mind that we've gotten two and now po and possibly three Mike Harmon Racing diecasts released. Holy shit! But again, this is the... I can't stress this enough. This is the first Kyle Weatherman card ever get released. We might get a second one with the Darlington throwback. We hadn't gotten a Joe Nemechek car released in so long up until we got the Trump Pence car earlier this year. I'm just... Wow. You know? But anyway, so here's the diecast out of its box. And right out of the gate, I will say Lionel did a pretty damn good job with this diecast. Um, not too many issues off the bat. <laughs> Fun fact: I didn't know what the obviously you know how you have the American flag, but you've got it's got black and blue on it for the police. For the longest time, I didn't know what that was until somebody told me. Not gonna lie, <laughs> but uh, I know now, of course. Well, I've known for months, but you get my point. Um, I do like the American flag on the side skirt. They lined it up. Oh, yeah, they lined it up pretty good on both sides. Got a good job, Lionel. Well, but uh, it, pretty generic naming uh, right there on the on the door or above the doors. Um, you know, not everybody signs their name, but it is what it is. Now, you got the back. Um, pretty lined up there. Oh, ooh, ooh. Okay, this is pretty. This is really cool. Although, Lionel. You got a paint chip on the H. What the fuck? But anyway, that's uh, if you can't tell what that is, and I'll try to get it as close to the camera as possible, that's a picture of Charlie Daniels, RIP, 
Uh, he passed away last year. Yeah, 2020. Still talking about it. But anyway, this is uh, a picture of him, and uh, looks like it says uh, the Journey Home Project. Um, and his, by the way, his Twitter account is still active. I, I think his uh, family or his uh, people uh, run it now um, in his honor. But uh, I, and I, I follow him personally, but um, he would tweet out pretty much every day uh, some of the same stuff, like you know Benghazi ain't going away. He mentioned the uh, the number of veterans that you know that we lose daily, um, you know because of you know they come back from war and they deal with the you know struggles of you know trying to you know as far as like finding a home, finding a job, dealing with PTSD, um, and you know veterans do deserve you know more respect in that regard. Um, but I don't, I don't know a ton about the, about this, about uh, his project, but I do think that's pretty cool. And I do like that, um, that they got him on the car. Um, I didn't even know they did that, honestly. So that, that's a really cool thing. And I would call that sort of a tribute to him, uh, to Daniels, because again, Charlie Daniels passed away. One of a few guys in the music industry and country music specifically, excuse me. Uh, that passed away last year. Uh, Joe Diffie was another one uh, that I can think of. Um, so again, RIP to Charlie Daniels. Um, I'm sure he's playing that fiddle hard up in heaven while the devil's down in hell. Uh, so yeah, if you, I enjoy listening to the, that song, uh, Devil Went Down in Georgia. Really good song. Check it out if you haven't. Uh, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so Lionel did a really good job with this die cast. And uh, the, the orange numbers, I like that. Uh, that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, so I don't have a ton else to say about this. Again, um, really good job, Lionel, with the die cast. I will say that much. Um, I mean, it's a relatively simple car. You don't have a ton of uh, contingencies, and obviously, you know, you know the black base, back of blue, of course. Um, but yeah, I don't have a ton else to say about it other than Lionel, you did a really good job with this die cast. And again, I do like that. A uh, little Charlie Daniels tribute on the back. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, again, rest in peace, Charlie Daniels. And with that all being said, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, please drop a like, subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.